Tighten your bow. Get your po neutral position set up. <sighs> Take a deep breath and let's um, check tuning. Are we there yet? My goodness. So this is the introduction to shore name bread. Um, if you look at your notes in your key signature, which always we're looking at very in the very beginning of everything now, clef sign, key signature, time signature, and then look at your rhythms and look at any repetitive stuff. So let's figure out this first two measures. So what note do we start on? See if you know that one already. So that if, if you're at a place where you're ready for this page, you should be able to go D, B, A, B, D. And then D is third finger on the A string, one octave above open D. And then look, this repeats. Then we drop down and we go F sharp because of the key signature. We have F sharp, E, D. And then this repeats again twice. Then we go down to A, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D. And if you can, can't can say those, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can't say the notes out that quickly with me, then I want you to go back and do some more work. Um, back a little bit um, in the book and do some of your practices of scales, saying the notes out loud. Go back and do that um, introduction that gives you the third finger introduction. Um, but let, let's look at the shortening bread. So we start on D, third finger on the A string. Let me flip around here. So we're going to go And then same as the beginning. So leave your fingers hovering over the string when you're not using them in the places that they will go down. Make sure your wrist is not collapsed, meaning that your thumb will be standing up straight like a soldier. And then let's go to measure seven. So measure seven then goes a, F sharp, and then you go kind of back to the beginning. And look, we have three measures that are exactly the same. D, B, A, B, D, B, A, B, da, 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 and then F sharp E D. Then look, it goes the same. Ba da 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 da. F sharp E D. And so that's very common for a folk song to be very repetitive. Um, I want just want you to be aware that they are. And then your melody line is all quarter notes. We're not gonna. We can swing this, but we're not. That's not the purposes of this book. But um, you can do the little um, so you can swing it a little bit. Um, I would prefer that you got even and add swinging when you get a little bit more advanced. But um, that is just shortening bread. There's not. It's not very difficult. Um, it's good for note reading and get you on your A and D string. Then let's look down the page, down to the blue part here, where we look at um, some other goose rhymes. So we have different rhymes that um, Mother Goose did and wrote out, either as poems or she did them as songs. And we've done several of these already. We did Hickory Dickory Dock. We 
did Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Um, some of these are just poems and not really songs like Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So it's kind of rhythmic, but not necessarily in note form. Um, Rock a ba by Baby, Rub a Dub Dub. Twinkle we did, Row Row, Row Your Boat we did. Three Blind Mice we didn't do, but we did do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's pick one of these. Um, ba Ba Black Sheep. And <clears throat> if you sing Ba Ba Black Sheep and start on a tone, a note, just pick whatever note that you would do it on. And let's see if we can build a ear training piece. Sometimes, um, and especially on viola, if you pick the D string, you're going to be in a good vo vocal range to, to go. If we do Ba Ba Black Sheep on D, starting on D. I don't have much of a singing voice ever, but today, um, it's winter here and cedar comes out, and I'm a little allergic to cedar, so I sound bad, but, ba, <clears throat> ba, 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 black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full, I'm gonna embarrass myself to no end, um, does that sound familiar to you? Let's see if you can play it on your instrument and see if you recognize the notes. Maybe not the rhythm, but the notes. There's another song that's, um, that, that is very familiar to everybody that is the same melody line, different rhythms as, and I hate to share it with you, um, but if you're right, you will have picked Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's the same melody line, different rhythms. Now let's go down here. Uh, let's do London Bridge. So if we decided to do London Bridge, London Bridge is falling down. And this is designed to kind of help you, any song that you hear or that you like. So say it's jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. You can then take that to your instrument and pick that out. So if we do London Bridge, let's see. Um, London Bridge, da, da, da. Do you think that's a half step or a whole step? Um, part of that is getting used to what am I listening to? Is this, is this a third, a fourth, a fifth, a half step, a whole step? And ear training is being able to tell what a half step and a whole step is. So if we say London, is there a note in between those two? London, there really isn't. Hmm, maybe there is. Ha, ah, so la, <clears throat> let me start on an F. So if we start on um, D, we're going to end up with some extensions, I think. No, we can do it on the D string. So London Bridge is a whole step, is falling down, and I think... Um, then a half step here. So you can 
kind of pick out songs by singing a melody line, picking a note that matches with your um, instrument. We just did London Bridge in D, but can we go up on the A string and go... Or you can go to the G string. So um, when you pick the same intervals, you can start pretty much anywhere. It's a good idea at this juncture in, in your playing to just start on an open string and then kind of sing the, the melody line. Let's see. Sing a song of, oh, let's see. Sing a song of sixpence pocket full of rye. So sing a song of sixpence. Let's try it. You know what? I don't think I can do it high and low enough. Let's find another one. How about three blind mice? That'll be easy because we go, Three blind mice. So we're starting on one note and going down. If we do that, we might want to start on maybe an F sharp and go. So I started on F sharp, so you have that F sharp E. third finger That if you have a song that you enjoy, then maybe you hear on the radio or you sing at school, um, that sing it out and then see if you can match it to pitches on your instrument. You don't know extensions and low second finger just yet, but um, that will come with time. This is just the very beginning of, of um, some basic ear training. And I think Song of Sixpence would be one of those where we'd have to I'll have to play with that one. That actually is not one that I've done, but it's on the list here. Um, so turning rhymes into musical rhythms, um, when you hear a rhyme, you have um, a rhythm to it, and these are all nursery rhymes that also have a melody line to them. So I want you to be just like Gosh, Jingle Bells is a really good one to do because you can go dashing through the snow. Let's see if we can figure that out. that you can kind of do right now you only know high second finger so you have to kind of play a little bit with your keys but once you hear them then you can go oh wait that's not supposed to be a C sharp that's supposed to be a C natural and you can pull your finger back but we'll um, you'll learn all of those as you get farther along remember this is just the beginning um, have some fun with shortening bread and our next video will be the done and dusted for shortening bread and we'll look a little bit at Scarborough Fair <laughs>